Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. In the jailbreak process, using the Y2JB method, some users run into an issue where YouTube gets softlocked because of an update. This means you can't open YouTube unless you update it first. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. All right, without any more talking, let's jump straight into it. First, let's talk about how to fix the softlock issue where you can't open YouTube until you update it. This update prompt happens because when you connect your PS5 to the network without setting the DNS to manual, the system connects directly to the internet and immediately checks for updates for all installed apps, including YouTube. So when you try to open the app, the PS5 forces you to update it first. To fix the softlock issue, the step-by-step -step method has actually already been provided by Gzine on the official Y2JB GitHub page. But for PS5 units that can't be jailbroken using any method other than Y2JB, you basically have no other choice. You'll need to restore the latest backup file available there, because in that backup the YouTube app has already been patched, so it won't ask for an update even when the system is connected to the internet. Meanwhile, for PS5 units that can be jailbroken using other methods, like WebKit or BDJB, if you don't want to restore the backup, then you'll have to reinstall the YouTube app and redo the process of copying the download zero folder through FTP. And honestly, that can be a hassle, especially if you end up needing to restore your backup again. When you restore a backup, everything on your PS5 gets wiped. Your save data, your games, and any apps you've installed. Even if you back everything up beforehand, in my opinion, it's still pointless, because the backup files you created can't be used again once your PS5 is restored using the newer backup from Y2JB. So instead of starting everything over from scratch, especially if you already have long-played save data, it's much better to fix the YouTube softlock using the method I'm about to show you in this video. Now, let's jump straight into the practical part. So we'll switch over to the PS5. Before we begin, make sure you've already created a backup of your PS5 data, because this step can potentially cause a database corruption issue, which may delete all installed FPKGs and your save data. So this is just a precaution. I've already backed mine up earlier, so let's continue. All right, first, I'll show you that my YouTube app is currently softlocked. Let's open it. And as you can see, a message pops up on the screen and we can't launch YouTube at all. So now, let's fix this soft lock. Actually, we can get YouTube running again without reinstalling it. The trick is simple. First, go to Settings, then head over to Network. Choose Settings, and open Setup Internet Connection. Here, we're going to reconnect our PS5 to the internet. If you previously set your DNS to manual, we're going to switch it back to default. So highlight your connected network, press Options, and select Advanced Settings. Change DNS settings to automatic, then hit OK, and wait around 3 to 4 seconds. After that, set the DNS back to manual. Press the Options button again, choose Advanced Settings, and now set DNS settings to manual with the primary DNS address 127.0.0.2. Don't forget to hit OK, and then confirm once more. Now, go back to the PS5 home screen under the Media tab. Let's try launching YouTube again. It should work now and no longer be softlocked. When prompted, choose Update Later. And there you go! You can see that YouTube runs perfectly fine and immediately loads the exploit script. With this trick, you don't need to reinstall the app or restore your backup file. Next, we still need to perform the blocking YouTube update steps exactly as shown on Gzine's Y2JB GitHub page. First, make sure the exploit inside YouTube is still running. Then, move over to your computer. Make sure your computer and PS5 are connected to the same network. Open Gzine's Y2JB GitHub page and download the Y2JB project as a ZIP file. Then, download the FTP server payload for PS5 and the Netcat GUI. I've already put all the download links in the description. I've already downloaded everything here, and I've extracted the Y2JB project folder. Next, we inject the lapse payload to jailbreak the PS5. Drag the lapse payload over to Netcat, 
Then enter your PS5's IP address and set the port to 50,000. After that, inject the FTP server payload to activate the FTP service. Drag the FTP server payload over to Netcat, and don't forget to change the port to 9021. Once FTP is active, we're going to pull the appinfo.db file from the PS5 via FTP. Open your FTP client, then connect to the PS5's FTP server. Enter your PS5's IP address and use port 2121. After connecting, navigate to the folder system underscore data priv mms. Then copy the file appinfo.db to your computer. Now, we're going to modify this file. Copy the appinfo.db file into the same folder as appinfo underscore editor.py, which is inside the y2jb project folder you downloaded earlier. Then open a terminal in that folder by typing cmd in the address bar. Make sure Python is already installed on your computer. If not, just Google how to install Python on Windows or whatever OS you're using. After Python is ready, type the command python app info underscore editor dot py and press enter. The modification process is now complete. You can also see it automatically created a backup file just in case. After that, transfer the modified app info dot db file back to the same folder where we originally pulled it from on the PS5. But before doing that, make sure the YouTube app on your PS5 is completely closed. Also check that there are no active downloads running. And finally, make sure your PS5 is currently on the settings menu. Once everything is set, open your FTP client again. Go back to the same folder, system underscore data, priv, mms. Drag or upload the modified file into this folder and choose Overwrite to replace the original file. In the FTP client, you should see the file transfers successfully. And as long as your PS5 doesn't show any database corruption notifications, that means the file transfer worked. After that, simply restart your PS5. All right, the PS5 has restarted. We'll test this twice. First, when the PS5 is not connected to the internet. Right now, my PS5 is offline, so let's open YouTube. As you can see, it launches normally, and the exploit also runs. Now let's test it while connected to the internet. So I'll connect the PS5 to Wi-Fi first. Done. Now let's restart the PS5 again. Okay, the PS5 has restarted and it's now online. Before launching YouTube, let's check for updates. You can see an error message appears, which means the YouTube update blocking is working. Now let's open the app. We get a notification about a PS5 firmware update, not a YouTube app update. This appears simply because the PS5 is connected to the internet. So here we choose update later to continue. And as you can see, YouTube runs perfectly along with the exploit. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this tutorial. Hopefully this guide helped you fix the YouTube softlock issue and set up the update blocking properly so everything runs smoothly with the Y2JB exploit. If this video was useful, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future jailbreak tips or updates. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.